Morning nights, happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining, thanks for coming in. We'll start off with uh, birthdays here today. We have one birthday. Uh, happy birthday to Amy Eck. You actually have the sun out here today. We'll show our uh, daily view of the uh, sunlights, skylights, I should say. Pretty cool up there with those uh, clouds. It's uh, supposed to be in the 60s today, and hopefully you guys can get outside and get some fresh air and enjoy the day. Don't forget, today is also uh, New Work Wednesday, so New Work Wednesday uh, all for online learners. All of the work uh, is posted online, ready to go, and then our offline learners are able to pick up here at school today, 9 to 3, and tomorrow uh, from 9 to 3 as well. So uh, keep working hard on, on your work. Make sure you got a good system and a good, uh, um, you know, a good flow of when and how you're going to be doing that work. Uh, it's really important that you pace yourself uh, and, don't, and try not to do too much uh, uh, right off the gate. So um, today we have a great show. Uh, we're going to be going uh, the other coast, uh, west coast, to start this morning. Uh, we have 2015 grad Becca Schwann is going to be joining us. And then uh, later in the show we're going to have uh, um, Allie and Brock Flint are going to be joining us as well. So we're really excited uh, to have our guest today. Um, and we're going to get going right now with our first guest, uh, Becca Schwann. Let me uh, click her in here. So Becca is coming to us live. There she is. Good morning, Becca. How are you? Good morning. Uh, it's a little early in California. It's just about 7 a.m., but yeah. uh, doing, definitely doing well. Great. So Becca's coming to us uh, from the Bay Area. It's uh, 703. So, I mean, I mean, based on just looking at you, it looks like midday. You don't look tired. You don't look morning at all. You're ready to go. I got to get up uh, every day, you know, working remote. Um, means early days and late nights uh, in Silicon Valley, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me give a little background here, Becca, before we jump in. So Becca is a 2015 grad uh, here at, at Leroy. And, Makes you know, me feel I got, old. Yeah, you're getting old there. I'm getting some gray hairs too. But, uh, you know, for, for those of you who maybe don't know Becca, you know, I guess I'd like to call her the long-distance queen here of our school. And I was talking with Coach Leitenberger, you know, kind of getting some research for today's uh, interview. And he also agreed that we can call her the long-distance queen. Um, she ended up uh, – she ran Backed up 10 uh, total sectional patches uh, in her career here um, at Leroy, uh, being on cross country, indoor and outdoor track. Um, she was our first girl to ever uh, go to the cross country state championship. And she was also a part of the first girls uh, section five uh, team championship. So, you know, really cool, uh, you know, pieces there. And then went on to play at uh, Ron, I should say, at, at RIT. I'm going to jump over here. There she is. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, over at RIT and, uh, and competed both, uh, you know, indoor and outdoor there uh, and just had a, a banner career. We're going to talk about that as well. So it's really, I, I think it's, you know, I, I can't thank you enough for coming on because I think what we're going to talk about and what you're going to you know, say is going to be pretty inspiring for our nights at either watching live now or we'll catch the replay later. Some of our nights like to sleep here too, you know. So, uh, but uh, Hey, I remember the high school days. 10, 11 a.m. was the prime wake-up time. That's right. Now, speaking of that, I wanted to start off by this isn't the first time that you that I've caught you on video before 8 a.m. Uh, so let's start <laughs> off with this. This is uh, the day uh, you're walking into school at 730 and I'm waiting for you outside. So here we go. Oh, boy. She said, run, run until I collapse. I thought, I mean, like that, that was an, that's an unbelievable line there. So, um, 
Yeah, so, you know, just a great representation of our school, and now you're out in the West Coast. Why don't you – let's start with what you're doing now, and then we'll, and then we'll jump back. So why don't you tell us, uh, what, you know, how long you've been out there, what you're doing, um, and, and how things are going. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I've actually been out here since June of last year, so almost a full year. Uh, it's went by crazy fast, um, but definitely, definitely been an adjustment to the East Coast. Uh, right now, I work for a art publishing company called Art Brand Studios. So um, I'm doing what I did. I I majored in marketing and hospitality while I was in school, um, and then I transferred that. This is my first job out of college, and um, I just got a promotion to be the um, marketing strategy and events manager. So um, that just came a week ago. So that's that's officially what I'm doing. Wow! Congratulations on that. Thank that's you. awesome. Now. Yeah. The, the really cool uh, part of Becca, I think that, you know, that I want to start off with is just the, you know, just this work ethic that you have and, and, and just this drive that you have. I mean, it was so evident, you know, to watch you here, you know, and because you're the, you know, a complete student, you weren't just, I'm just, a, I'm an athlete only, or I'm just a, you know, academics only. I mean, you took academics and you took your, you know, your athletics and you just put that together and you're just a powerhouse. I mean, talk to us about, your formula and the kind of looking back at your experience here at, you know, at Leroy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, I mean, I think these things go hand in hand actually more than, more than you think. Uh, one demands excellence pretty much of the other um, in order to handle the time frame. Um, high school, it's definitely a little bit easier, but once you get into the college um, range of just, in order to handle the two combined, whether it's academics and athletics, uh, you gotta have the kind of traits that just feed to success um, in the end, which is you know the time management, the organization. Um, you you can fit a lot into your life. Twenty four hours is is a long time in the day, even though it may seem to go by fast. Um, so it's just about priorities and where you spend it. Um, the biggest thing for me is is keeping everything on an equal level for uh, sanity purposes, like. You know, you want to have still social time. You still want to have things um, that make you happy. And maybe it's not, you know, running and maybe it's not school, but you want to squeeze other things in there. But uh, keeping your priorities straight and just making sure that those two still, re like, remain at the top of my list. Um, you know, just you got to know that not every day you're going to enjoy wholeheartedly of it. You know, same with running. There's some days where I really – didn't want to do it. And I still, it was an obligation. It was a responsibility um, to all the people who invested in me that I give the best I can. And same with athletics, you know, it's, it's a response to academics. It's, you know, it's a responsibility to, um, you know, give the best I can because of all the people that have helped me along the way. Well, what did it mean for you to, you know, to be a, in a whack at night, um, you know, and to, and to have won all the sectional titles that you won and being a part of that first, girls team and, 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 and running for coach, you know, Leitenberger. I mean, what, like looking back, I mean, how did that set you up and, and, and how did that define who you are? Um, pretty much the best memories I have from high school um, during this time are all pretty much associated with, um, you know, just learning tremendously more about myself through challenges of, you know, workouts with coach and, um, the personal adaption that he invested in me and trying to make me a better person as a whole and, and doing it with my team. I can't recall how many hours I spent um, with each other, like with all of us together, you know, on the track, outside of the track. Uh, they basically turn into my family and, you know, we're all in different positions now um, across the country and it's pretty crazy. But, um, you know, I wish everyone the best because they're still, you know, they're your family kind of kind of going on and it's pretty cool to see. And, and, you know, being the first girl to go to the state level out of a school that's produced a lot of great athletes over the years, um, you know, what did that feel like, you know, on that starting line, um, you know, in the mud? I think it was a – was that a muddy day? Uh, yeah, it's a bad day. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I, I saw a picture of you kind of like hunched over, like coach had taken it at the end. And, and you finished – was it sixth at the States? Um, no, I – Definitely not that good, but I actually don't recall. I remember it being so um, – I didn't have a good race. You know, my goal was um, at, at the end of the season, you know, get to the state level, and, and I did. 
Um, and I was kind of, my body, my mind was tired by then and it just was, wasn't a good race for me. But I, I honestly, at the moment, I thought it was the most devastating thing ever, but now I can't even remember it. Yeah. Um, so I remember it now because I, I, I definitely <laughs> remember uh, coach saying that, you know, like you said, it, it wasn't your best race, but I just think that the, um, you know, and, and you were kind of disappointed as well, but I think, Look, it, it, that was a, that was that short term feeling, but like the long term feeling was the road that you got to get there and, and, and mm -hmm. the obstacles that you overcame. I mean, that's what I'm sure you you, you think of now. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I actually experienced something similar in college. Um, my goal was to uh, triple peak, go to the NCAA's in cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track. Um, and for two years in our own cross country, I was one place away from going twice. Um, wow. So it was, it was definitely a learning experience. I mean, obviously, just like this, you know, back in high school, it's, you know, you feel that disappointment just because of the hours and the time you put in. But, you know, now that I've graduated and I've been able to look back is, um, you know, I think of all the road to get there, the journey, the friendships, the challenges. Um, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, like, there's, there's no, like, there's, a, there's a, no coincidence that here you are in your first job getting a promotion, you know, within the first year. I mean, like, I think that that, that plays with each other. Let, uh, you know, let's look at, you know, here you are at college uh, at, at RIT. You know, one of the cool things when I was looking at that, I mean, you were uh, indoor rookie of the year for the conference, you know, your freshman year, uh, you know, all academic, uh, you know, the national, you know, honors for that. Um, I mean, what a ride was that? I mean, we have so many we have so many students that aspire to go to the college level and and and, and, and participate and, and compete. And you not only had those feelings, but you went at, on the national stage and competed. I mean, how were you able to pull that off uh, on three different teams and then also maintain the academics that you had at college as well? Um, so I think with the athletic side, it's it's really um, just so much personal growth that happened throughout college for me. I had um, some of the best coaching and teammates I probably could have ever had, um, you know, such a good support system. I mean, the school, uh, I'm really thankful that I chose the school that I did, you know, it was a perfect size for me, not too big, not too small. I felt, especially within the athletic setting, you know, at the end of high school, I, I had some opportunities to go um, to a couple D ones and D two two schools. Um, but, but I didn't consider myself that uh, at that level when I was in high school, and I knew I had a lot of the growth to give, and I felt like I had more to give. Um, so finding a coach was the perfect fit for me of just, you know, challenging me and, and you know, just because I say that I'm tired, tell me to do one more um, kind of attitude. So I would say finding that kind of atmosphere that's the perfect fit for you. Um, if you want to do a sport in college, I would recommend, even if you have never done it before, go out there and try it. If you've never done tennis and you want to feel like you could try tennis, go do tennis. Um, you know, there's so many different things that you can try and it just builds such a positive environment. I think with um, in the cross country program specifically, we had uh, the highest GPA of any um, team at RIT for, I think, eight years running straight. So um, you're surrounded by groups of people that have their priorities, um, you know, at the same level you are, of course. And I think it's great because I got to meet people in so many different majors, um, which is so important to me of just, you know, learning more things about engineers and learning more things about um, chemis and, you know, uh, graphic designs and art students. So I think it provided me with a better perspective, just, you know, what the academic world is like. Um, you know, being, being on the team, but first and foremost, it's just like the friendships, friendships that you made. I mean, if you're too, if you don't know about joining, join, just try. And I promise you'll be able to handle it. Um, every, that's how everyone gets through it. You know, you have time. Um, I think I, I graduated with two bachelors, so I double loaded my course load for the last, um, three years, but, um, so many other students do it. And, you know, I had a job, you know, a part-time job during that time. Um, so, you know, if anybody, you know, all these girls on the team can handle it, you can handle it as well. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's, it's pretty crazy just to see the amount of work that, that you're able to accomplish uh, and be an athlete. Now, do you, are you still running now? Are you still training and still uh, keeping that going? 
Yep. So once I graduated um, college, I set a goal um, to run my first marathon. And as a mid distance or in track, um, I would like to consider myself. So I ran the 800 and 1500. And that's what I love. And I never did, you know, long runs past 15 miles or anything crazy like that. So I really wanted to see, you know, what my body could do and if I could handle mentally just, you know, running for three hours straight. Um, Cause it's definitely no, no feat for me, but it may be easier <laughs> for other people. Um, so that was my goal. And I, and I ran my first one in December um, and I got to qualify for Boston. So that's pretty cool. Um, wow. But now I'm, yeah, I'm dealing with a couple injuries. So I'm just uh, running on and off and trying to stay sane with some yoga or something. That's great. That's that's incredible. Now, um, I, I I pulled one picture of, of you here, uh, you know, out on the West Coast. Uh, talk to us about what it's you know like what it's like. You know, I mean, I mean, nothing against the Awaka Creek, but I mean, this looks a little <laughs> bit bigger than the Awaka Creek. I mean, talk to us about West Coast life. Uh, you know, for any of our students or people watching that you know maybe have aspirations to do uh, a move like you did. Yeah, absolutely. I think. Uh... California is a big place. The West Coast is a very big place. You can find um, a lot of different kind of personalities here. So um, I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, there's, there's definitely a different atmosphere here. I absolutely love it for views like this. Um, for me, that's kind of put it top of my priority list, having um, nature around me, having hiking places, running routes. Um, the ocean was pretty cool. I got to learn how to surf. I just, I really like to try new things. And this is kind of the environment that lend it to me. Um, you know, if you're thinking about different things, uh, like LA, totally different atmosphere, obviously still get the good views, but, um, you know, it's, it was based on work for me and, and where could I find the best, um, jobs at the moment and I think right now I'm very thankful to be here because you know it is the tech world and I feel there's so many opportunities for me even during this quarantine um, so many companies are still you know hiring so I feel like I still always have my option open when I'm down here yeah that's awesome now how close is this from where you live um probably about like an hour Okay. Hour and a half. So not bad. So I'm in Cupertino, which is like a 45, 50 minute drive from San Francisco. So the city, I'm not a city girl. I couldn't, especially right now. I'm so glad I'm not in a tiny apartment. Um, yeah. You know, living in the city. So I live out in the suburbs um, near Apple headquarters. That's probably the closest. That's what my town is. Um, but best Asian and Indian food and I'm in heaven and I think it's really um, just just a great you know safe environment to be in very fun so. nice so we'll, we'll finish up with um, you know what would be some you know piece of advice that you would give to you know to our current students you know that you know are aspiring to you know to, to kind of go to college or aspiring to go to the workforce or you know play college sports I mean you know what are some of those skills and those things you know pieces of advice that you know that you learned that maybe uh you would want to pass on or things that you maybe would have done different who um i think pretty much uh, the key whether you're going to the workforce whether you're going um, you know different schools and you know maybe trying university or just skipping it all together because i am still paying off my debt so it's definitely an investment <laughs> I think Me too. That, yeah, <laughs> it's an investment, but, you know, deem, deem it worth it. I think the biggest lesson I've learned of just um, growing up is uh, to keep learning whatever, whatever setting you're in, um, to always strive to, you know, gain more knowledge. And you might not think, you know, if it's relevant. I remember sitting in high school classes and, you know, I'm like, I'm not passionate about this. Why would I want to learn it? Um, you know, taking just moving away from that attitude and, and thinking that every opportunity is a chance for you to expand either your perspective or just your well-being knowledge on something because um, it just helps you so much in the future of just thinking with a more worldly blue view and just knowing what kind of, um, you know, things go into, you know, grand schemes, projects and stuff like that. Um, and I think the best way to always keep learning is to always listen Um I'm definitely a talker and I love um, talking to people, but I think the biggest thing that I've taken away from just, you know, college and, and growing up in general is 
um, to continue to listen to people. Um, you, you'll make so many more friends and, and mentors. Um, most people just want to be heard. So I would say, you know, really listen to people, look them in the eye, give them the respect, and you'll be really surprised, you know, no matter what, you can take away something from that conversation. So, yeah, that's my two. That's, that's two awesome. Knowledge. Love that. Let me, uh, I want to finish off with just showing, um, I think I have it here, one more video. Um, oh. Yes, here we go. So this is you in, in high school here uh, in 2015, winning your second title of the night, uh, winning the 1500. Um, it's the video is about 30 seconds long, so I'm going to re, let me re-hit this up. I needed to go to the gym more. I needed to lift. <laughs> so just That's a sad form. <laughs> well, I, I think it, it, I wanted to show you that for two things. One, because I think you know it just shows the, you know, at the end, you know, a great hug with Coach Al, and just like you know, just that great bond that you guys had. But then also, you know, the um, you know where you start, you know, and now you know here you are in 2015 at RIT as a high school student. Now here you are West Coast, you know, in, in, in a great job. So I think it's just great. Just it's a great trajectory you know and, and, and a great you know um thing for our nights nice to see what you can be yeah it's life is all about the little past it's never you're never gonna know exactly what you're gonna do um in the end i for sure don't know um even what my next move is you know after this or you know what kind of passions i want to take up um so don't expect that you're gonna know just you know take take all the paths that life give you and, and you'll end up somewhere good Awesome. Well, listen, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, getting up and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and being on this. Uh, it, it was, it was really cool to, to have you and see you, you look great and, and you, you, you're, you're pumped up, ready to go, bring that passion to the job <laughs> here today. You're going to be like, oh, I've been up since seven. This is you know, I'm ready to go, but you know, stay safe. And, uh, next time you're in town here, you know, please make sure to swing in and, and, and say hello. I will. Thank you very much, Mr. Ricardo. All right. Good stuff. Thank you very right. much, Becca. Bye everybody. So that was really cool. Uh, a great visit with uh, 2015 uh, grad Becca Schwan, and uh, you know she, you know, was another great example of the type of products that come out of a whack and night country. So thank, uh, big thanks to her for uh, being a part of the show. We're going on to our final guest today, second and final guest. We're going to bring on the Flints. Uh, excited to bring on the Flints here. Let's see, let's find them on my list. If you're, if you're there, Allie, you can put uh, there. You are. Okay, so we're bringing in the Flints. Yeah, good morning, guys. How you doing? Good. Uh, so speaking of speaking of uh, record breakers, you know we have uh, a record breaker senior here, uh, Allie. Uh, you know did some record breaking in track and field as well. So. Um, what was, what was it like? I'm just going to jump to you. Allie. What was it like to see Becca there and, and, and hear what she had to say? And, you know, I'm sure you've heard a lot about her and I've obviously interacted with her a few, you know, way back, but you know, what, what was that like? It was really cool. Like I've never met Becca, but I feel like I know her from coach talking about her so much. Yeah. And, and here she is out on the West coast. So that was, that was really fun. So um, yeah, so we got Allie here, uh, senior and we got Brock, my man, sophomore. Uh, <laughs> I, I got, uh, let me get this uh, swung around here. So we got Allie is uh, if, if you're, if you've been under a rock, um, you know, you, you probably, you know, I guess you'd have to be under a rock to not know just how big time she is, uh, you know, in, in track and field. And then I got the, uh, I got Brock here. Let me get that Brock. There's Brock. Um, you know, also a three sport, you know, three sport athletes, a, a wrestling. I really love those, those uniforms, Brock. I know you guys are all about the black, but I, I, I do like, you know, that, 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 uh, that look. So, um, so let me uh, check back in with uh, Allie. Allie, how's everything going for you? Uh, talk to us about what you've been up to here during this time and, uh, you know, senior year, obviously this is not what we wanted to be doing, but, you know, how are you making the best of it? 
Um, right now, I'm kind of just chilling at home. I applied for a job to keep busy. Um, I did my registration online for school. I got to Zoom with some people from Roberts Wesleyan. And um, I know it's kind of not the most fun for your senior year, but I just hope we go back and, like, get to do something for the end of the year. Yes, I, I, I agree, and we're definitely going to do something for sure. Brock, uh, how about you? How are things going with you? Uh, what have you been up to? What's, what's been your routine? Um, it's really not too bad. I wake <laughs> up around 10 every day, go down, do whatever work I have to do. And then for the rest of the day, I just have the ability to do whatever I want. And you look good, man. You're like your hair. I mean, like I, I'm, I'm putting on a lot of gel, but I mean, your hair is looking, you're having a great hair day. You're looking awesome. <laughs> I just woke up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Ellie, I wanted to show uh, wanted to show one of you. You, know, you had a great, a big night here yourself uh, this past uh, uh, winter here. The actual date, um, let me just pull this up. Was when was this? January twenty fourth. So on January twenty fourth, you uh, broke two school records: weight throw and shot put on the same night at RIT. Uh, RIT has been, you know, a, a great place for our nights. Uh, let me just show this here. Let's show the first one again since it was blurry. Here we go. Yeah. So two big. So two big uh, records broken on that night. What, what does that mean for you to to be able to to break records? Uh, you know, in, in this sport and, and continue to kind of pave a new way. You know, for for girls. You know, here at the school. Um, breaking the records was like a really big moment because I worked so hard all throughout high school to just try and like be successful in a sport. And um, breaking those records in the same night was, um, like, huge for me. And one of um, my favorite memories from high school is Coach giving me a hug right after I broke both because um, getting a hug from Coach is, like, ev what everyone wants in track because he doesn't give out high fives, fist bumps, or hugs unless you really deserve it. So I wanted one of those before I graduated, and I got it. Yeah, that's all. We just showed that the Becca got the hug there after winning hers, you know, five years ago. So yeah, that that's definitely a special thing. And yeah, it was so exciting to see you do that. Um, you know, that was that was big time. Now, one of the things that uh, you know, and then the other thing that I wanted to say too is, you know, you're part of the section championship, uh, not this year, but last year with the girls indoor. You know, how cool of a night was that? I know, I know, in this picture, you're the only person with your eyes closed. You know, because you're <laughs> so excited, but. Uh, you know, tell me about what this night meant to you and, and, and these girls. Um, that was one of the most stressful nights because it came down to the last event. Um, all of us were, like, very nervous that we were going to be co-champions, which would still be cool but wouldn't be, like, that great because time is not as fun. Yeah. Um, so the last event, we all, like, circled around the track, and the boys team helped us out too. And we cheered on um, – I'm trying to think of the team – I don't remember the team we cheered on, but we needed them to win so that we won. And all the girls that came up to us after and said, thank you for cheering us on. Like it helped a lot. And um, they said that they were happy we won and they're happy that they could help us win. Yeah, it was a, it was an incredible night. Cause you had, you know, Bella kind of that night came from like behind to like win. And they, you know, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. And no. there's just so many like crazy things. And it's like midnight, you know, people are, running and sprinting at midnight, you know, to, for these yeah. indoor championships. But, yeah, what a great night. <laughs> um, Brock, let me uh, uh, jump to you. I'm just going to block my screen because I got a couple surprises on here. All right, there we go. So uh, <laughs> w what is it like for you? I mean, th three-sport athlete guy, you know, you're doing football, wrestling, baseball. Um, you know, how, how do you enjoy that, and what does that mean to you to be that active? I love playing sports. It's just something of past time. So – Doing it in high school is the best time to do it. Um, I really just love being – I love competition. So that's a big part of why I do so many sports. Um, 
I really have nothing <laughs> else to say. <laughs> so, so your brother, like, how influential is your older brother and your older sister, like, in, in like, in, in, in your career and, and in what you do? Oh, very. So some of the youngest have to be the best, and they already set the bar, so I just have to get over it. It's always been cool to see, like, when your brother, like, I, I see your brother, he comes in, you know, in, 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 to watch you wrestle. I've seen him do this time and time again. He comes in, and, you know, I kind of then look at you, and he keeps up there, he sits down, and he kind of, like, he's waiting for you to look at him, and then you kind of, like, change your whole body when, you know, when, like, when he comes in, you're getting serious, you know. I mean, tell me about, like, how cool it is to have him, you know, in the gym watching you. It's really cool. It's like having, like, another, like, uh, coach or, like, another like person to cheer you on so he would always love to see me win yeah. um it's just cool to have him there so speaking of win i don't know how many people even know this or remember this but back in 2016 uh you you, you, <laughs> you were a title this is a championship here that you won uh uh, is that what, is that Courtney? You and Courtney won uh, yeah. the, the the regatta. This is the first ever regatta that was put on in the Wacker Fest. And here's your uh, you know contraption that you guys uh, won with. Tell me about this day. What like how, how cool was this? It's still being debated on whether we cheated or didn't. <laughs> but I guarantee you we did not. And it was a really fun day. Now where is this trophy currently at right now? That is currently in my bedroom. <laughs> so Courtney let you have it, huh? Yeah, Courtney. Courtney gave it over. Nice. <laughs> That's really cool. I mean, and, 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 you know, I, I bring it up because it, it was a great night. I mean, unfortunately, you know, they, they just canceled this, you know, they went, you know, they went yeah. to this past week. I mean, it's just awful. But, like, looking back on pictures like this, you know, I think will help us get through that and then look forward to, you know, coming back and doing it. But, I mean, you, the, 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 the smile on your face here says it all. Man. That's, uh, you're all about to win. And, uh, and then Allie, you know, a lot of people don't know that, you know, that, that she's also a part of our, our trap team here. And, and not only is she on the team, but she's, you know, she, she, she rocks the pink uh, earmuffs. I mean, it, it, it's it, it definitely a, a cool trademark. Uh, how cool has it been to be a, a part of this team, you know, that's been up and coming? I mean, I mean, last year you guys had a great season. How cool is it to kind of switch gears, so to say, and, and, and go from competing, at, at, you know, track to, you know, shooting a gun? Um, never in a million years would I think I'd shoot a gun for a school, like, event. Um, before doing trap, I'd only shot a gun once. And I think it was a BB gun. <laughs> um, so it was like a big difference. But like my dad was a hunter or is a hunter. And uh, he wanted me to try it out. So I thought, why not? And doing this, you still get like that team aspect, but you also have like your individual goals that you want to meet. Um, and it's completely different than regular sports because a lot more safety needs to go into it. So you have to trust everyone you're around. And um, it's a lot of fun. Like I went to the state competition last year. I wasn't the best shooter, but just going out there and hitting targets is, like, so much fun. And for me, it relieves my stress because it's, like, I don't know. You see the target explode, and you uh, just feel happy that you were able to hit that. And it's way different than what I've ever done before. Yeah, and, and, and you know, Mrs. Clifford and Officer Miller and all of our volunteer coaches have just done a great job building that program and seeing guys, you know, seeing people like yourself that – you know, are taking something new and going out and, and finding success has been really, really cool. Yeah. So to kind of close up, um, you know, you uh, talked to us about your experience last week with the senior parade. How did you, how did you enjoy that? Uh, you know, how cool was that? That was a lot of fun. I was, uh, I heard beeping. So I walked outside and to see all of like the teachers out there, it meant a lot to know that they're supporting us through this hard time and to know like, um, everyone's there for us right now it's a hard time for everyone and hopefully it will be over soon and the parade kind of brought a smile to my face and um that it was like a fun experience i had no clue what was happening <laughs> yeah no it was it was so much fun i, I actually kind of want to do it again tomorrow again you know i mean it's uh you know it's just great to see everybody. i'll be down <laughs> <laughs> so all right so <clears throat> last question 
uh, Brock, uh, and who who is who who's the better cook between of you guys? And who Me. has? Okay, you. Are you good with that, Brock? I'll give it to her. <laughs> okay, and who has the cleanest room? I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, and why is that? Is that is that you just lazy, Allie? And Brock just a good cleaner? Like where like where are we at with that? Um. I put stuff in a certain way that makes it look messy, but I know where it is. No one else does. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> it is not that bad. Cool. Well, listen, it was great We're having you guys. Right it was great having you guys on the show. Uh, and I think there's a lot of people that want to see the uh, stuffed animal that's that's like right here. Can we get a little view of this guy? I mean, like, like, yeah. Look at I this. There is a dog, a cow, a dolphin. <laughs> nice. D d does the dog have a name or did it have a name? I don't remember if it did. Okay. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. Well, listen, thank you guys for uh, for being on the show. Brock, thanks for getting up at 10 to be here. <laughs> uh, make sure you take extra care of your uh, of your sister here. You know, she's, you know, all of our seniors are very special the month of May and June. So, you know, just go out of your way. Maybe you should just clean your room, you know, for her. You know, you do a couple of those things. She would lose her stuff, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, thank you guys very much. Uh, we miss you a ton and uh, stay safe out there, okay? Bye. Right, thank man. you. All right. We'll see you. Right, so that was really cool to have the Flints uh, on board here this morning. Thank, I want to thank those guys for uh, being on the show. And uh, just, again, two, two great nights. So we're going to go on to our uh, free swag. Uh, Mrs. Lowe's handing me over the first question here. Um, oh, here we go. This is this is a tough question. I don't know. Well, it, maybe it is for some. It shouldn't be for anyone, really. Oh, she says the next one's tough. All right. First question of the day. What restaurant? Now, on for, on on Monday we had uh, Cara Valdez on on her show. What restaurant do do her parents own? That's today's first question for free swag. Mrs. Lowe, you're really upping your game here on on those questions. You know, I mean. We'll see if, and hopefully the sun comes out. We have sunglasses, uh, you know, that we have going on too. Uh, not yet. Jordan Lee, congratulations, uh, bringing home the W. Jordan Lee, first, uh, first in. All right, second question here. Get ready, get ready. How many minutes a day did Coach Wyman suggest for a daily workout? Coach Wyman was here on Monday for our uh, teacher check-in. And we were talking about being active and getting outside. Uh, how many minutes a day did he re uh, recommend that you get outside and, and get a daily workout? That's Mrs. Lowe's second question. General, 60 minutes. You got it. Uh, first place. Congratulations. Man, people are coming in really second place, really uh, close. So, uh, Congratulations on our two winners. Uh, I want to finish up uh, with just reminding our Knights that uh, we have today and tomorrow for you guys to get in your pay it forward. Uh, we have some videos that have come in already. I want to thank everyone for doing that. Mrs. Bertrand, if she's still on, will drop the link in here for you to uh, upload your uh, video of a pay it forward. We're just trying to have our nights uh, keep that night serve going and pass on a cool, simple craft or DIY idea. Uh, for our nights uh, at the Wilkett Street School to interact with. So make sure to uh, check out the post here on our Instagram as well as on our Twitter, which has the info and the link of how you can participate and uh, push this great uh, uh, ideas and activities towards our Wilkett Street uh, students. Also want to thank uh, Parker yesterday for doing our takeover. If you haven't checked that out, make sure to check that out. Uh, Parker did an outstanding job doing our social media takeover. Uh, and then next week, we're back here on Monday. Uh, we'll be changing up our, our schedule a little bit. Our lives will be just on Monday. Um, and then on Wednesdays, we're going to shift to our uh, senior chat. So those will be posted every Wednesday. Question came in, how did the elementary kids watch those videos? Great question. Those videos uh, will be posted on their Google Classrooms. Mrs. Uh, Missouri will be taking the link and putting it on uh, their class so they'll be able to check that out. So we're really excited to uh, share those. Uh, thank you, uh, Doug, for the shout out there. You're the man, uh, our bus drivers. Uh, we'd miss you guys a ton too. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We'll see you back right here on Monday. Don't forget to check out our podcast, which comes out on Friday. Have a great Wednesday nights. Stay safe.